So when we're doing this, we're looking at the chain rule. And basically what we want to see is, does this integrand follow along like this pattern? Could we say like this outside function could be like x squared. The inside function would be x squared plus 1. And then the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. Does that kind of seem like that's properly unpacked? Yes? So now let's just kind of like take the antiderivative. So if we're saying like the outside function, the f prime of x, again, this is just like me. Look, f prime of x then is x squared, right? And we know that g prime of x, obviously, well, we don't really need to figure that out. We just need to, we already have g of x is equal to yeah, x squared plus 1. So that's basically, now what we're doing, everything is unpacked. Now what we want to do is just kind of put things back together, right? So we could throw that back in there, because that's just kind of the derivative of that. And basically what we want to do is figure out, if we're trying to find the integral of this, then what would be the, basically we want to be able to figure out, well, we got to f prime, so what would f of x be? If f prime is equal to x squared, then f of x would have to be 1 third x cubed, right? So we'd have 1 third. And then, but however, remember we're using the chain rule here. So instead of x cubed, we'd have to plug in what the g of x function is, which is x squared plus 1 cubed, and then plus c. All right? Now, some of you might be like, eh, it's kind of a little bit stretched mentally. All right, so let me give you another method, which we call u substitution. So another way to do that is forget about looking for the pattern. If you don't see the pattern, whatever else, what you want to do is identify what is the most complex um, function you have here. So you can see we have multiplication. And we're basically comparing x squared plus 1 squared time and 2x. The one that's the most complicated we could definitely say is x squared plus 1 squared, right? You guys would kind of agree with that one? Yep. So what we want to do is identify the inside function. We're going to call that u, hence the name u substitution. So u equals x squared plus 1. Now what we want to do is differentiate u with respect to x. So if we differentiate u with respect to x, we get du over dx equals, x, um, equals 2x. <sighs> now what we're going to want to do is we are going to um, solve for du. So we'll multiply dx on both sides, and we get du equals 2x dx. Now, there's a reason why we're going to do this. And a lot of times, guys, you can just go from here to here. You can skip this step. I usually, for, for time purposes, I just go from here to here. So technically, what we have here is we are evaluating the integral for u squared. And then you guys see that du is equal to 2x dx? Like, du equals, right? Do you see how we're preserving everything? du is right there. And then we're just saying u, we're just replacing x squared plus 1 squared as u squared. Because this is pretty easy to integrate, right? Yes? So, so if we integrate this, we have 1 third u cubed plus c. And then all we have to do is plug back in our u. So it's 1 third x squared plus 1 cubed plus c. Holy moly. Exact same thing. All right? So as we're working on this, 